Bring some good morning to you. Carry your weapon. Yes, carry your weapon. Uh, your weapon uh, in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 17 it says, And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. This is your weapon. Yes, there is nothing more calculated to strengthen the intellect than the study of the scripture, your weapon. You must always have it on you. Well, if you think I'm actually talking only about a page Bible, no. Whatever device, whether it's a computer, whether it's a tablet, whether it's a phone, whatever, you must have your weapon on it. And that weapon is the word of God. Uh, you know, when soldiers, well, let me, let me tell you this. One time, I was with some soldiers on a patrol going to the border of Venezuela. I just took the walk, the hike with them to see what it was like as a young fella. And you know, we stopped at a stream and one of the soldiers had a rifle. That was his weapon. And it fell overboard. And you better believe that group of soldiers, the platoon, they did not move until they dive and found that weapon. It was so important to them. Uh, listen, in the armor of God, the weapon, the word of God, is the only thing that is used for defense. Jesus Christ demonstrated in Matthew that every time the devil brought a temptation to him, he was able to say, it is written. You see, when we hide God's word in our heart, in our mind, then we are able to counteract the devil. Yeah, understand that. So next time you want to go to church, you must make sure you have your weapon. Next time you get up in the morning and you're ready for work, make sure you have your weapon in whatever form. And day by day, as you hide God's word, as you study and memorize God's word, whenever a temptation presents itself, you would be able to go back to God's word and say, it is written. God and Father, guide us as we go through the day and help us to carry our safe weapon, the Bible, that will guide us into all truth. Uh, help us to remember that this weapon teaches us what is right and what is wrong and shows us how we can uh, stand up against uh, the wiles and the fiery darts of the devil. Thanks ever so much for your word that guides us on a daily basis. In Jesus' name, amen. May God richly bless you as you go through the day.